Yes, welcome back to another Star Made Logic Showcase. My name is Bench and today we're looking at this seven segment display module. This component or circuit or whatever you want to call it is a really, really versatile little component. It is less than 10 by 10 by 10 at 10 by 7 by 9, the main component anyway. We've just added a little border so we can see what we're doing. And you can see it's counting up here. It's really really cool I've spent a couple of days refining it so this is version 3 and uh, you can see just how cool it looks so we got our inputs on one side we've got a couple more inputs on another side and a bit of a tutorial written on the back and then on the output uh, on the other side we've got outputs so without further ado let's get in there's a lot to cover. <laughs> so on the front face, if we switch to light mode, you'll see that we've got our seven segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it can output as a single digit zero through to nine. Now on our input wall on the side here, we've got a whole bunch of options at our disposal. Down here, you'll see status, green if set up, red if error. So this shows a couple of errors if we uh, trigger an error. Just a reminder. Um, in case we do cause an error. Usually it'll be green, um, and as we improve, we'll also add in other ways to check if we're getting errors if uh, we keep encountering them. Our main inputs are here, so we have clear all, turn off clocks before clearing all. Well, yeah, that's a given. Uh, minus one input and plus one input, and you'll see we've got an activation module for each, and we've also got an all gate for each. So if we hit the activation module, you'll see it pulses above, and if we keep pushing that, you'll see our little light on the side here is going up. And so this shows what number we're on. You can see out the front here, number two, and it will correspond number two there. So we've got uh, a couple of displays there to see where we're up to. Now, if we clear again, you'll see it's cleared. Um, but what we've got is the activation module will trigger plus one or minus one every time that activation module changes state whether it's rising or lowering so either uh, blue or yellow as it toggles it triggers um, otherwise we can also use the above these OR gates to be able to use our own pulses our own inputs um, rather than just an activation module and actually be able to do some really cool stuff with that now above that we've got these clocks as well so we had on earlier when we opened you saw we had the plus one second clock running and that adds one every one second so you can see it's going up there now if we go over and we'll switch that one off and we'll trigger the minus one second clock which takes away one second or takes away one every one second so you can see it's counting down there when it gets to zero it'll go back and it'll repeat back up to nine there it goes so we'll turn that off and we'll clear it again and we'll look at this next panel we have and this next section is a great section it's select max number and in here we've got activation modules and we can choose a max number that our digit this digit will go up to so say if I'm building a clock and I've got this I uh, have one of these modules doing the number uh, the first digit of my seconds and I want this one to do the second digit well then I need to switch that off. Now if I don't have anything selected you'll see red lights are on I need to have something selected as the max number otherwise it just won't loop correctly. Um, so there if I have my 5 on now when I run the clock you'll see it'll go up 1, 2, 3, 4 and you can see on the side there it hits 5 and it will go back and repeat back to 0. And it works the opposite way around as well. So if we go and reset, we can hit the minus, and you'll see we start from that number and start minusing, which is really cool. So what we'll do is we'll set that back to the max number, number 9, and keep going. Now, if we flip over to this other side, what we've got is this thing, send pulse out after number. And what this does is this sends a 0.5 second pulse, which is the pulses we use for this system. Um, it will send it out of this AND gate. In this case, it will send it out once our number is reached number 9. And then we go plus 1, which will make it reset back to 0. When it goes to 0, 
from going from 9, then this will light up. And so if we hit the clock on, you'll see that we'll slowly start seeing those AND gates flash. So this first row here is for when we're adding, and the second row here is for when we're minusing or subtracting. And that makes it quite versatile because we can use it in a number of different capacities. Uh, we can hook up multiple digits and have them input and be able to exclude uh, or add or remove and all kinds of different things. So that's this side here. And what we can do is hit C on one of these and use it. Uh, in this case, it is out 4 when minus 1. Or in some cases, we might go out 0 when minus 1. So when we leave number 0 to go back to the top again, so you do this with countdown and stuff, you can go into the next module and hit the minus 1 input and input it into that all gate and it will trigger it fine. One other thing, or a couple other things we've got is restarted output. And what this will do is we're currently clear at the moment. There's nothing on the screen. If I change it into normal mode, you'll see it's absolutely dark. There's no lights on there. And so when we first go plus one or minus one on this side, it will trigger this light or oh, this AND gate to trigger and send a pulse out. And it will do it every time we're going from this digit being cleared to starting up again with a digit appearing. And what we can do is on a, if we say have two digits here and we want the first one to go to zero, we can use this output from our first, in, uh, first digit to be able to trigger that so it actually gets loaded up. Otherwise, we might end up with wrong results. And over here on the back, we've got our tutorial screen and we've also got this section here, which is select number. And on here, we can use these all gates to be able to actually uh, instantly change it to a certain number. So uh, we can use the restarted output to go in there and trigger that and actually select that and set initial states. So you'll only really be using this back section if you want to initially set a number when you first load up the screen and you want to set a number or if you want to just use this as a static setting and set a number you can do that as well the other cool thing we can do is go in here and actually grab another light if we want to change what color this front is we can actually pull this section off so if you look here we're going to pull off these the black hole in between these sections and you'll see that we have a bunch of all gates visible and what we can do is we can grab one of these, go in there, and change it. So we're hitting C on an all gate. We're then getting rid of the lights which light up with a purple. And we're pl placing them with the new pieces like so. So we can use any light on here. and it will work fine. Now you see part of the design has it uh, indented. That's just purely so we can get a bit more contrast on our display with uh, shade, uh, shadows on and all that. So a lot that we can do with it. But now that we've changed it over, it's very quick to do. We can close it back up and if we switch things on again, we'll see. There we go. We've got it all in a brand new color and it didn't take any time at all. We didn't have to mess around with any logic. It's really easy to do. So that's a basic rundown of our uh, new segment display here. We're going to be doing some tutorials on how to build different things with this. Counters, scorers, countdown clocks, existing clocks, timers, whatever you would feel like doing with one of these displays. But for now, my name is Bench. You can go grab this on the community content section on the StarMade site. Thanks for watching another StarMade video. We release videos every second day, so don't forget to subscribe.